They are among the most famous and oldest structures in history, the Pyramids of Giza. While the millennia-old monumental buildings of the ancient Egyptians amaze us with their mighty appearance, a no less exciting question arises at the same time. How is the interior of these imposing buildings designed? Together with you, we would like to venture into the heart of the Cheops Pyramid and show you how unique the different chambers of the ancient Egyptian building are. Before we get started, be sure to hit the like button and ring the notification bell for more videos. Also, stick around until the end to learn some new information about the pyramids that we guarantee you've never heard before. The Pyramid of Cheops Of the seven wonders of the ancient world, only one was to successfully defy the gnawing ravages of time. The world-famous Pyramid of Cheops, with an original height of 146.59 meters and a side length of 230.33 meters, the monumental object was considered the tallest structure on our globe for a period of around 4,000 years. In view of these impressive dimensions, it should come as no surprise that the Cheops Pyramid is often simply referred to as the Great Pyramid. Researchers commonly assume that this is a magnificent tomb created in honor of the ancient Egyptian pharaoh Cheops. He was in power during the 4th dynasty, and in detail, his reign should be between the years 2620 and 2580 BC. The only catch to the theory of the Great Pyramids being a tomb for Pharaoh Cheops is that, as far as we know, no Egyptians were ever buried inside of a pyramid. It has been a long-running theory among historians that the pyramids were built simply to be tombs for the ancient Egyptian leaders. However, this does not appear to be true. Despite years of research, there is virtually no evidence that the pyramids were designed to be tombs. On top of this, despite what you have been led to believe, there has never been a single mummy found inside of a pyramid. Not one. Because of this, many people were looking toward other theories to explain the pyramids, with one of the more common theories claiming that the pyramids could have been giant power plants. But we will touch on that again later. The orientation of the Cheops Pyramid is based exactly on the four cardinal points. In order to create the magnificent building, the builders of the time largely used the local limestone deposits, and granite was also used in some of the inner chambers. Although the Great Pyramid has remained in its basic form to this day, thousands of years ago it presented itself to viewers in a fundamentally different way. In fact, the structure was once completely covered with white Tura limestone, the top of which was adorned with the so-called Pyramidion. This was probably made of granite or basalt. With its enormous dimensions and its magnificent appearance, the Cheops Pyramid must have looked like a giant diamond in the middle of the hot desert. Unfortunately, however, the Torah limestone cladding was almost completely eroded and destroyed over the centuries. On the north side of the structure, we find the gate that once embodied the original entrance. In the belly of the mighty object, a complex chamber system was created, which consists of three main chambers the rock chamber, the queen's chamber, and the king's chamber, with a sarcophagus that would have belonged to the former ruler. Although it's assumed that the mighty ruler Cheops was laid to rest here, there is no concrete evidence of this. In fact, as mentioned, neither a mummy nor valuable burial objects could be found in the Cheops pyramid, only objects that would have likely belonged to the king during his natural life. It is claimed by experts that greedy tomb robbers plundered the Great Pyramid a few centuries ago, ultimately leaving behind nothing but an empty sarcophagus. But this has not been proven. The history of the chamber system also repeatedly causes heated discussions in the ranks of the experts. Accordingly, their functions could never be properly deciphered. Basically, it's believed that the orders of the chambers were closely linked to the religious beliefs of the era. In detail, the ancient Egyptians believed that their deceased king first had to follow a certain path in order to be able to ascend to the kingdom of heaven, from the immortal stars, through the land of light, and finally to the kingdom of the sun god Re. Though yet again, we don't have much evidence that the pyramids were used for religious purposes either. To put it plainly, we don't truthfully know much about these pyramids at all. They were almost never mentioned in the pieces of ancient Egyptian history that have been collected so far. Because of this, we are left to piece together the puzzle of what could have transpired thousands and thousands of years ago, leaving us with far more questions than answers. 
the enigma of the burial chamber. Given that the Great Pyramid of Giza is commonly thought of as a monumental tomb meant to represent the power and influence of King Cheops beyond his death, one fact seems downright puzzling. Save for the empty coffin, which is located in the king's chamber, there is nothing to indicate that a burial actually took place here. But the shape of the actual burial chamber also repeatedly raises great mysteries. Instead of rich wall decorations and impressive inscriptions, we find nothing here but a cold, barren room. Did such a Spartan chamber really do justice to one of the most important pharaohs of antiquity? The only ancient Egyptian inscription, which for a long time was thought to be the only one inside the Cheops pyramid, has always been suspected of being nothing but a brazen forgery. When the British Howard Vise, a soldier and Egyptologist, inspected the Pyramid of Cheops in the 19th century, he used the most unusual means to uncover additional chambers inside the structure gunpowder. When Vise had discovered or blown up the previously hidden rooms, he was presented with a very strange sight. Several inscriptions have been discovered inside the relevant chambers, which look like traces of ancient graffiti. In detail, these were various markings, directions, and the supposed names of those working groups that had created the Great Pyramid. Interestingly, the corresponding writing contained different variations of the pharaoh's name, Khufu, which we now call Cheops. In addition, all chambers uncovered by Vise showed so-called query marks. In fact, the mysterious discoveries that the Briton made in the belly of the pyramid were supposed to be the proof that the rest of the scientific community has accepted to this day that it was, in fact, the final resting place of King Cheops. The only account linking the pharaoh to the Great Pyramid of Giza again came from the ancient Greek historian Herodotus. He traveled to Egypt at the time of the first Persian rule, and thus more than 2,000 years after the construction of the Pyramids of Giza. The knowledge that the historian gathered about the magnificent buildings was received mainly from officials, priests, and Greeks who had settled in Egypt. The explanations that later found their way into Herodotus's histories are likely to have been a mixture of personal descriptions, incorrect traditions, and possibly made-up stories. Despite this difficult source situation, most researchers of our modern day are certain that the mighty pyramid was actually built in honor of Cheops. However, a few experts disagree with this general assumption. For them, there is simply not enough solid evidence to support the thesis they are proposing. Unanswered Questions and Unbelievable Theories but not only the original purpose of the mighty Cheops Pyramid, but also its previous construction phase is still overshadowed by many questions among experts. Above all, this includes the question of how the ancient Egyptian workers managed, without the use of modern technologies, to pile up the thousands upon thousands of blocks, weighing tons, to form a coherent structure. In this regard, the experts are of the opinion that the inhabitants of the Pharaonic kingdoms use sophisticated ramp systems. However, it has not yet been possible to decipher which ramps were used in detail. While there is hardly any evidence of this in the case of the Cheops Pyramid, the remains of ramps have already been discovered near other pyramids. However, the respective finds prove that the Egyptians by no means used the same ramp systems for each of their pyramids. Just as the individual pyramids differed from each other, the individual construction phases would have also presented themselves differently as well. Whether the Egyptians used straight, spiral, zigzag ramps, or a combination of these forms to build the Pyramid of Cheops is still the subject of controversy and numerous attempts at reconstruction. If one follows a heavily disputed theory from the ranks of the pre-astronauts, then the search for an answer to the question of the building techniques of the ancient Egyptians is, however, already obsolete from the outset. According to the followers of this parascience, it was not the inhabitants of the ancient kingdoms of the pharaohs at all, but conceivably other beings who created the magnificent pyramids, extraterrestrial visitors. In the past, they would have made regular detours to our blue home planet. Since the aliens were vastly superior to the ancients from a technological point of view, they were worshipped as supernatural deities by the people of Earth. However, the pyramids of Giza themselves are supposed to serve as supposed proof of this almost unbelievable theory. For example, the Swiss Erich von Däniken thinks it's unthinkable that the ancient Egyptians, who he considers primitive, were able to create such demanding building projects as the pyramids. The logical conclusion of the parascientist and his colleagues is that the Egyptian master builders had received galactic help. The followers of this trend 
also have an answer ready for the shapes and the true purpose of the pyramids. The buildings are intended to imitate the abilities of the extraterrestrial beings. Since the home planet of the aliens is so far away from us that the flight to Earth took several thousand years, the extraterrestrial life forms could be put into a kind of hibernation during their journey through space. Arriving on Earth, it must have appeared to the ancient Egyptians as if the deities had just risen from the dead when they emerged from their galactic hibernation. The ancient Egyptian belief in the afterlife, including mummification, is said to have been based on these apparently supernatural observations. In the hope of rising again after death, the pharaohs are said to have allowed themselves to be mummified and stored in crisis-proof buildings, the pyramids, in order to finally awaken as gods as well. In fact, however, many people often tend to grossly underestimate the intellectual and cultural abilities of our ancestors. At the same time, such theories also exclusively consider the Cheops Pyramid, while the ancient Egyptian pyramid development in its entirety is often left out. At the end of the day, we really don't know too much about the pyramids of Egypt. Historians and researchers often like to include their own interpretation in their work, rather than relying purely on science, reason, and evidence. Because of this, the true purpose of the pyramids and why they were built has often been overshadowed by theories that were concocted by historians many years ago, dating back to the 1800s. In reality, the pyramids could have served virtually any purpose, with some believing that the pyramids may have even been used to harness the power of the sun. One piece of evidence that helps to back up this claim is the Dendera light. This refers to a hieroglyphic that was found in ancient Egypt that seems to depict a few ancient Egyptians holding up a very large light bulb. It may seem crazy that the ancient Egyptians could have had access to a modern power source, but this hieroglyphic certainly seems to prove that there was much more to the Egyptians than meets the eye. While this is admittedly nothing more than a theory, it certainly makes you wonder what the ancient Egyptians could have been capable of. If the possibility of the Egyptians having access to a modern light bulb wasn't crazy enough, take into account the Baghdad battery. This refers to a strange type of supposed battery that was found buried in Baghdad that dates back nearly 2,000 years. The supposed battery was created using a terracotta pot that had been packed with a rolled copper sheet, an iron rod, and some form of electrolytic fluid. The copper sheeting and the iron rod were insulated from one another using bitumen from the Dead Sea. Considering Egypt isn't too far from Baghdad, it's entirely possible that these batteries could have been commonplace all those years ago. If so, and the Egyptians figured out a way to harness the power of the sun using the pyramids, it's entirely possible that the ancient Egyptians were far more advanced than we give them credit for. All right, folks, now it's your turn. What are your thoughts on the breathtaking images from inside the Cheops Pyramid and the exciting mysteries and legends that have always surrounded the world-famous structure? We are already looking forward to your comments. If you enjoyed our detour into the world of the legendary Great Pyramid, please give us a thumbs up. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell so you never miss a video of ours again. Finally, please take a look at the other exciting posts on our channel, which you can access by clicking on one of the pictures in the credits. Thanks for your interest, have a good one, and we'll see you next time.